Good not morning, good afternoon. Happy Tuesday, friends. Tonight we're going to work on a tiered tray kit. Um, let me find us live here and share us into my group. Oops, no, 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 no. We don't want to have any noise. There we go. Bear with me. I got to figure out how to share from my computer here. Here we go. All right, so tonight, hello, Joe. We're gonna do my baseball tier tray kit. I think it's gonna turn out cute. Let's do, oh, it won't let me do this. I gotta do it over here. Do, 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 there we go. Perfect. All right. Got us shared now. Sorry about that. Hey, friend. Hey, Brandy, Vicki. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. So here is a mess right now. Oh, my goodness. It is a big old mess. I'm going to kind of put it together here real quick and show you what it's supposed to look like. There's no place like home. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Christy. Um, we have got hit hard, run fast, turn left. Um, let's see. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. That one will be all done in 3D. We have got, where's our go team at? Go TV. So we've got Go Team here. Oh my goodness. We have got little peanuts and popcorn here. And let's see, what else do we got? Our ball. I don't really like the way this file cut the ball. I might have to go back through and score it or etch it instead. Because it cut, it was all done as cut pieces. So you'll have your baseball. It's cute when it's all done together, but it's kind of hard to put it together. And then let's see, Cracker Jacks, maybe some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, yada, yada, yada. And then play ball, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna hold very well together. It's gonna go right on your baseball. Hey, Connie. All right, so these kits, I have this one and the one that we did last week, or was it last week? I think I did this one on Friday. I can't remember. Last week sometime. So both of these baseball kits are up on the website. Okay. I got to think of what colors I want to do. I like the Yankees. But Tigers is our state team. So I don't know. Let's see. Should we do... I kind of like the idea of having some orange on here because it's just a bright color, fun to throw out. Or, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do some orange and blue. And then always white, usually some black on here. And then I want some red for our baseball. So it should be our main colors. Yes, it is. Let me show you this. This is also on the website. It's all 3D, look at that. Isn't that so cool? So it's got the back piece, then it's got the frame pieces, and then some of the pieces like the tree, you can see are standing up even higher and the flowers. I love that. So that is up on the website as well. I think it's under the spring category. Hey Brandy, I don't remember if I said that, I might have already, but hello. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Obviously our baseball is going to be white because it's a baseball. I'm going to start with the white. Hey, Ruby. Hi, Sherry. We went out shopping yesterday for Bud's birthday, so I didn't end up getting any paints, but I did get out to go shopping. Hey, Kathy. Um, it is not in the description of this video, but if you go to my main page, there is a link to it. It's dizzydesigner.com. I 
just brought all of my stuff back down here from the last painting I did live. <clears throat> and I really, I don't know if I've done white with the baby wipes yet. Let's try it and see if it works because I really am liking using the baby wipes. I go through stages where they do different things. You're welcome. I can share the link when I get off the live, but if you want to go over there right now, um, it's just dizzydesigner.com and then underneath the spring. Um, I think it's underneath the spring kits. Pretty sure that's where I put it. I don't think I like this. Maybe though, it looks kind of, I kind of wiped it off a little bit, so it's kind of dirty. Maybe that'll look cool as a baseball once it dries, we'll see. You can see that laser burning through it and, um, on the edges, which kind of gives it a dirty, rustic look. I don't know, that might look really cool actually. The rest of the pieces I might paint with a brush, uh, with a white background to make them more white. I don't think I like the way that turned out otherwise. If it was a different piece, I should say, because I do like it. All right, I'm gonna do some red. Let me get out my little sponges here. I'm gonna just do some red for the stitching on the ball. Am I tipping you guys down so you can even see? Here you go. I want to be able to see the comments because I'm here, here more to chat than anything with you guys. But this way you guys can see what I'm doing as well. I do. I really like the way that ball looks. It looks like it's dirty, like it's been played with a lot. So I will not do another coat on those, I don't think. But on the other pieces, if I do white backgrounds, I'm going to do either with a paintbrush or just... Hmm, I don't know, maybe the baby wipe method would work with a second coat on there even. Let me see if I can show you on the camera. Do you see that? It just looks like it was, it's been out on the field quite a bit. Wish I could pick it up without it falling down. Do I have like a, let's see. I got a little notebook here. Let me make sure I don't have any notes that can't be shown on here. I think that turned out super cool looking. So there's that. And then we're going to put play ball on top of it. And I think I'm gonna do, oh goodness, I don't know. I want to do some orange to make it stand out, but maybe I'll do that in the blue. I think that would stand out better than the orange against the ball. Hey, Jeannie. And let's move this out of the way. My sponges, this one's been cut down quite a bit. This was the exact same sponge, but obviously it's at the end of its life. This I probably will do a second coat on. We'll see. Hey, Janet. Yeah, I'm thinking that the blue was a really good choice. If we went with orange on that, it just would have, wouldn't have stood out enough for my liking. So here we can do blue, white lettering, and then I can do the orange for the home part, I think. Let's try that. I'm gonna try with the baby wipe again. These wipes are different than the ones I had been using too. And sometimes the difference in wipes can make, sometimes the different brands of wipes can make a difference.
I'm actually kind of liking the look of not having it nice and bright. It's kind of weathered looking. And then would we say white on this? So I'll go back to my little, didn't I have a white one? No, I did not yet. Let's do, I'm gonna cut the edge off of this. See, that's where the little pieces come from. And then I just reuse, reuse all the sides that I can as many times as I can. What's everybody up to tonight? You guys are kind of quiet tonight. Anybody else crafting? I'll be honest, I was tired and I really didn't want to come down here tonight, but I had to make some shirts. I've got to get some orders ready to go out and I already committed to going live on Tuesdays this month, so. There's that piece. So go on there. I actually really am liking this rustic-y. I don't know that I'm gonna do a second coat, I'm telling you. In person, sitting here looking at these, they look awesome. Okay, home, I want to do, do I want to do orange or do I want to just stick with red, white, and blue? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm going to do any orange, so we're going to do these in red instead. Waiting for it to start storming. I don't know if it's supposed to storm here tonight. I know it's supposed to tomorrow, but I don't know if it's gonna start in the night or not. It We got a good storm the other night. It woke us up in the middle of the night. All right, so that'll go on top of there. And then let's do, we're gonna do a white background on here. I might try it again, just to kind of stick with the same consistency or whatever you want to call it like I said maybe if I do a second coat it'll just be that much better in the white we'll see there's that so far where are you located at again, Ruby? I don't remember. What state are you in? I'm going to use some of my Nutmeg Brown, which is just slightly darker than the um, MDF that we're painting on. I'm going to do that for my baseball bat, and that's probably enough, to be honest. Let's do... I'm going to need that piece. Where'd that other one here does? Nebraska, okay. Yeah, tomorrow is supposed to be really stormy all over the place, I guess. But like I said, I don't know if it's gonna start here tonight or not until tomorrow, I'm not sure. Being for real, I think this is one of my favorite kits. I love baseball. And I just like the way this is looking. It's it's painted different than how I normally do. Hey, Verlin, how are you? Like I said, I normally do more of a finished look, but I really am liking this with the one coat. This center of this A, there it is. I don't say it didn't come out of my piece there, but whoops, what's going on on the computer here? There we go. Oh, 
hopefully when I'm done with this and I pick it up after it's all glued together and show you, you guys will be able to see what I mean on the, um, it just looks rustic, like vintage used, kind of dirty, which baseball's kind of dirty. Ooh, I hope I didn't have any blue left on there. That wasn't dry. Actually, I can hold this piece up to show you. So from like here in the camera, to me, it looks like it's pretty finished, but up close, can you see like the laser burn marks on there? And the white, I have some of the background sticking through. It's not fully painted. Um, I really like the look of it. Hey, Deborah. How are you doing tonight? All right, so we've got there's no place like home, play ball, hit hard, run fast, turn left. And now let's do, let's do go team. Actually, I'm gonna try to do this this way instead of dabbing it on. We're trying all sorts of new things tonight. They're not necessarily new, I've done them before. They're just things that I don't do all the time. And then I'm gonna do this in the white. Go team, let's lay it out. I wanna make sure that I paint the right side. T-E-A-M. I don't like when I get all the way to the end and then find out that I painted the wrong side of it. Mother's Day. Thank you so much for sprinkling. I appreciate it. I have um, Mother's Day kits coming out on Friday, guys. I'll send out an email in the morning as a reminder if you're on my email list. Um, thank you, Karen. And I will be live painting one of the kits Friday. There are going to be a very limited amount of kits available. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that I'm able to get them all cut and shipped out super quick. Oh, wait a minute, see, I just said this and then I painted it on the wrong side anyways. And I think my T's actually backwards. They are, whatever, no big deal. They're just painted on both sides now. Um, so yes, if you're new to me, make sure you hit the follow button if you're interested in those Mother's Day kits so that you get an alert or a notification when I go live on Friday. I'll be live at 8.30, yeah, 8.30 um, a.m. Eastern time. All right, and then let's see, we got a couple of little A's that didn't come through here too. They're so tiny. Sometimes the little pieces just don't fall out all the way. They get stuck together. All right, let's do this one. And a white background again. Oops. This one I might do a second coat. This one's a lot lighter, I think I'm going to, than this one. I want it to I want you to be able to see that it's white behind here instead of seeing the more brown of the wood. All right, I think that'll look good once that's on there. Set that aside to dry and then I'm gonna do red on this because it's got our baseball stitches again. So I'm just gonna do the whole thing red instead of having the corner parts red there and then a different color on the rest of it. Just do it all red and then we'll do blue for our letters on the inside. And then I think, yeah, all we've got left to do is our peanuts and popcorn. 
and then or cracker jacks or whatever and then we'll glue it all together and i'll show you what it looks like so there's our outline of this piece which is drying i'm going to stick this over here to dry and then let's do Uh oh, am I missing a lot? I'm missing a word. No, I'm not. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Okay, we're good. I thought that I lost a piece for a minute. Ooh, I might have just enough blue left on here. Thank you so much for sprinkling. I appreciate it. I'm trying to keep my computer on so I can see what's going on over here in both spots here. And it keeps wanting to shut down on me. And again, I'm just leaving these rustic looking. You can still see the wood burn behind my colors and I'm totally okay with that. So for, we're gonna need, I might need a little bit more of this and then we're gonna need some yellow for our popcorn, right? Let's do this bright yellow and I might have enough of this out already, we'll see. So I've only got two peanuts and then a couple of pieces of popcorn or Cracker Jacks or whatever. So again, just doing the nutmeg, just there's really not a huge difference in the color of the wood to the color of the paint. Oh no, I got blue on there because I'm trying to be... Um, I'm trying to recycle and reuse my same piece here. It's all right, I think I got it covered up. I think we're good. And then let me set my popcorn pieces out because they're 3D, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess maybe they're not all 3D because these ones will go on top then, right? How do these go? I guess we're just going to go on whichever pieces I put them on and it just kind of makes them look 3D. So I'm going to do yellow definitely on my bottom layer. Hi, Mary. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of yellow and white or a little bit of yellow and um, maybe a darker yellow even. Let's use this one. It was yellow before, so it should work again. Michael and even on the popcorn leaving it without doing a second coat looks good because it looks like the popcorn just got a little bit a little bit cooked hey Dawn a little extra crispy popcorn I'm gonna go through and do them yellow and then I think I'm gonna come back through and do just a tiny bit of white on some of these top pieces to give it a little highlight maybe. We'll see. Let's see if I do just a little. Ooh, I lied, that's not a little.
All right, I fixed it. All right, we get to put it all together now and see what it looks like, friends. Let me close this up. Throwing everything out of the way here. All right, where did this piece go? And for any newbies, I am using the Stick Fast glue. Get it on Amazon. It's where I get it. I don't know of anywhere else you can get it. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I've never found it anywhere else. It is super sticky, it dries super quick, so you wanna be careful because I've glued myself to my pieces before. But it's nice that it dries quick because then you can literally paint, glue, and display. You don't have to let it sit for any length of time. And I barely squeeze any glue out onto my pieces. I tried to move that and it was already super dry. So that shows you, you need to be careful with that. seriously think this is one of my favorite pieces. I wish that I would have painted the other baseball kit to match it so I could use them as decorations next to each other, but I didn't. I'll have to redo a new one. Patty. So yesterday was Bud's birthday. We I took the day off of work. We went, we were gone all day long. We went and got breakfast. Then we went shopping. Then we went out to lunch. Well, I guess we weren't gone all day long. So we came home and he played in the afternoon for a little bit. He got a new golf set and a whole bunch of golf balls and a golf net and just a whole bunch of fun stuff. So he played for a few hours outside. We played a bunch of games and then we went out to dinner with the family last night. So he had a really good day. All right, there's that piece. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks and I'm sticking to it. Let's do go team here. These are kind of on an angle, so I'm trying to make them look like they're, make them straight, but not straight, straight, if that makes sense. I, I need them to, I need them to land where they need to be. No, that one's backwards. No, it's not. It's not. I just put it on wrong. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. I think it will dry fine. So there we go. Go team. Let that dry. I'm going to do this one next. I think I'm going to do the baseball last because that one's kind of, I think that one's going to be tricky.
He did. He had a really good day, Deborah. He actually was sad and kind of tearful last night because he didn't want it to end. <laughs> It is uh, stick fast, and I get it on Amazon. And my fingers are covered in pain. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this dry a second before I try to glue the other part of it onto the back there. And I'm gonna do this part instead, or this one instead. I didn't put it on every single piece there. I don't think it's necessary. Hit hard, run fast, turn left. So there's that second piece. Yeah, you're welcome. And we do have to glue some popcorn pieces. I think this is good though. It dries so fast, we should be fine. And I'm not gonna do a whole bunch on these little letters up here, but I'm gonna run through it real quick and just get a little bit. Oops. Might be slightly crooked, but oh well. There's no place like home. Mm, let's see. I'm afraid if I try to move it too much, it is. It's slightly crooked, but that's all right. Um, Got this one done. So this is the only other one other than the popcorn pieces. Okay, so here's what I mean by challenging because this is all separate pieces. So I'm gonna have to kind of glue them together. Hopefully doing it like this will work. fingers are sticking together. My sister's texting me. She's funny. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Ruth. Um, I'm going to let that sit there a second because I'm drying the edges of it. I don't want to pick it up and try to do the other side. I think that I will make it fall apart. What I can do while we're waiting a second, though, is clean up some of my mess. Try to stay organized and all my colors are down here in order. We didn't use any black today. Wow. I definitely have glue all over my fingers. They're like, oops, that's sticking to the towel there. They are, um, I don't know how to explain it. You know, when you get glue on your fingers, they're just rough feeling. Okay. Same thing. Going to stick this together. Let it dry. Hopefully not stick to the towel too bad. Here's our banner for the tiered tray. So <clears throat> the popcorn and the peanuts go on here together, and then some of the popcorn pieces get to be 3D. That one would cover it all the way. 
I think this is what I'm going to do. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to which one of these go together. There probably is, really, maybe, but I personally don't think it matters, so I'm just going to stick the little pieces on the top of some of these. And then, like, these ones don't look like they need to be 3D because they're smaller, so I'm going to do it on these other ones. This one's not really going to fit right. This one will. That one I'm just going to stick on here like this. Okay, let's see. Oh, we gotta do play ball. I thought we were done. We're not done yet. done let me show you what it looks like do I have my tray I do have my tray down here Ooh. there's our ball play ball there's no place like home do you see it just has that rustic look because I did not do a second coat on anything hit hard run fast turn left buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks go team and then we got the peanuts and cracker jacks so that's it for tonight friends i'm going to go ahead and string my banner and then i'm going to try to take a picture of it all put together on my tray um, make sure if you're able to you check in friday morning with me i'll be doing um the mother's day kits or they'll be released friday morning i'll be painting one of them friday at 8 30 um, a.m eastern time thank you guys so much for um hanging out with me tonight and i hope you guys have a great rest of your week thanks deborah I'll talk to you guys soon bye